Oh, hi guys. How are you doing today? Let's just get out of this. I thought I would give you a brief overview of a program called Atlas Loot. It's quite a powerful program. So to open up the program, you simply click on the icon, which is displayed around the mini map, obviously after you've installed the program. I'm currently using WoW Up, or one word, to install add-ons into the game, and I'm finding it really useful so far. So, this is incredibly powerful, and I would recommend it for basically anyone. The really awesome thing about this is it allows you to plan what kind of armor you want, and it's incredibly flexible. There's a lot of things you can do with it, so let's go over some of the options that you've got. So you can see all the loot for dungeons and raids, the crafting, and that'd be things like blacksmithing or leather working. You've got your factions, which are really, really good to know, PvP, and you've got your collectibles at the end. Okay, so for example, if we go for dungeons and raids, it'll give you all the different dungeons in the game. Um, so we could go for the um, Botanica, for example. Um, you can then select whether you want normal dungeon or heroic dungeon. And there's a list of all the different bosses. So we could go for Latch, for example. We can see that Latch will drop a badge of justice, of course. And they'll also drop a, um, a cloak, a um, nice pair of legs, uh, leather, for example. And this is all well and good, but you might be sort of saying, well, why aren't these lit up? Well, that's because these aren't really very decent options for my class, which currently is a warrior. If I want to change my class, all I have to do is right click on this um, sword symbol down here and I can be a paladin or a hunter, for example. And that would obviously customize the um, look. So if I go for priest, all of a sudden I can um, go for the um, cloak, which is good for a priest. So yeah, that's all pretty useful to know. Um, Crafting's very useful. You've got obviously all your different crafting options here. I quite like the cooking option because it gives you a really nice list of, for example, strength and spirit food, like the roasted cleft hoof. For example, if you were missing this, you could obviously look up the recipe and where it's from. And this is just really, really cool because it kind of has a complete collection of everything that you would need for cooking. So as soon as you're max level and you're able to get everything, then I just find this really useful. So for example, critical strike spell um, will be good for um, a mage or something. Um, strength is the primary stat for warriors. If your hit isn't up to 9%, you could always go for hit food, uh, like the spicy hot um, towel bar which I used to use when my hit rating was under 9%, but now obviously I don't need to. I'd be better off going for strength or agility, but mostly strength food. So that's really good to know. And the faction loot is also really useful to know too. So you've got the um, Aldor, which I'm with, which you've got all the enchants and such. Um, if I go for lower city, for example, I can see everything at Exalted. A revered, honoured, or friendly. So I might say, look at that gavel. That's uh, a nice mace that I could potentially use. Even though the damage on it is terrible. Well, actually, this is more of a caster item, but... Oh, that's because I'm a priest, I guess. I'll turn it back to warrior. So anyway, I guess that gives you a basic overview of the program, how to use it, and it'll also allow you to do better planning. And uh, that's it, basically. Really hope you enjoyed the video, guys. Let me know what you thought. And let me know if this was useful so I can sort of make other videos like this. And I will speak to you soon.